Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry about the light out because my dog behind me is looking at outside, as always. <laughs> Might be somebody interested out there. You don't know. It's like the thing with the line, like, a whole new world. Yeah, that's what it is with her. But um, anyways, this is just a little bit report on wrestling-wise. Um, some of y'all probably know that it's official today that... um. SummerSlam will be in Cleveland. Um, I don't know. Somebody threw in there in a different group today that Green Bay was in the running. Um, we were in the running, actually, in Milwaukee. But I kind of understand why, you know, they didn't choose Milwaukee for that. Is like they still got to do a little bit more things to the stadium before they probably will. Um, I know they're going to um, winterize it after this coming season and they're going to do like some more improvements but like just the only thing we know we got a new scoreboard and another um board that's on there so um that would be probably one of the things that probably will be you know helping our favor um yeah this is a lot of stuff that has to be done with the um that place so only thing I can think of is like if they winterize it, um, I wouldn't say like next year's Royal Rumble, but they probably have a chance for the af the year after to get it. So that's a possibility. Or you know they didn't name on where Survivor Series was gonna go, but I don't think it's gonna be in the Midwest since they got um. But then again, I could be wrong because. They did have, you know, um, SummerSlam in Detroit, then have Survivor Series in um, Chicago. So, it's a little, so who knows, maybe, you know, either Chicago get it again, or it'll be here. Who knows? Um, I guess we'll probably will find out more about it within the next week, like when the next um, Milwaukee show will be, since they're going to be in town this Friday. Well, next Friday. So, yep, um, made a deal and just see where it goes. Um, if I didn't go to the one in Detroit last year, I would have went to the one in Cleveland this year since it's like all in the Midwest. So, but you know, it was worth going to Detroit. It, I had fun. Um, you saw Canada. Yes, I did saw Canada. Surprisingly saw Canada. Yeah, it was not that far from Toronto, so I was just pretty shocked. <laughs> um, y'all probably knows about some other news that went out. Um, that um, this possibility that Minnesota will get WrestleMania because they said they was, according to sources, they were very close to make a big announcement about it. But in a way, they didn't made they did they made it seem like that they wasn't going to say who what they was going to announce, but, you know, with the, um, you know, spoilers and all the, um, you no know, writers and all that stuff and journalists, you know, they probably just got their take and no, and half the people just think it should go to, um, Vegas, but I don't know. I think it was just there for Vegas because there was a lot of stuff going on that weekend. So that part makes sense. That don't mean they're going to, Oh, we're just going to jump to Vegas because, like, you know, Vegas is really, really expensive. So, like, some of the places may be uh, expensive, but they ain't that expensive. But It's expensive. It's Vegas. Let's just leave it at that. Right. So, if it is in Minnesota, and hopefully it is when they announce it, but normally if they announce it either earlier or they're going to announce it, during uh, WrestleMania weekend. So, we'll see. Hopefully it's in Minnesota. Because I will be going. And she will be going. Yep. So, yeah. Should be fun. We'll go stay with some friends. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun, you know, going around there and see what's going on. Especially they got this thing called WrestleMania World. Because normally they'll call it WrestleMania Fan Access. But they doing it different. Oh yeah. Um, I think it was a piece of uh, the other news that I was gonna mention, but I don't think anybody cares that um, 
Miro was y'all know in WWE as Rusev and CJ Perry is y'all know in WWE as Lana. Okay, they split up, so they get a divorce. So I don't think y'all would care about that, but and probably some guys probably will care because they probably would think they have a chance. <laughs> uh, funny, really, but um, that's all the news I want to talk about today. Um, there, like I said, if there's any anything else that pops up, we will. You know, do a video about it and talk a little bit about it. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, trying to get to 500 subscribers by June. Hopefully we can get there with your support. And um, don't forget to check out our past videos. Do you like wrestling news or do you like um, Milwaukee Bucks stuff to talk about and things like that? You would like this channel. And um, thank our sponsors, Art from the Heart. Um, just look for Art from the Heart on Facebook if you like fan art and comic art and stuff like that so check that out moving dudes another sponsor if you in wisconsin or in florida and if you trying to move within those states they can help you with that so just give them a call 414-807-4299 hey, and tell them our trail sent you so until the next video which probably will be later on tonight talking about the um bucks and kings um game so until then y'all have a good one